Hey nerds, welcome to Jared Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 4, Episode 13 of the Originals, a.k.a. the Season 4 finale of the Originals, entitled The Feast of All Sinners, with hope fully just imbued, embedded with the essence of the hollow Klaus begging his family and friends to help save his daughter. Vincent may have a way, but he says it'll be the end of his family. It'll be the end of always and forever. So with that in mind, if you are new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. On the Patreon side, that's going to include all four seasons, all uncut, full-length episodes are going to be over there. So that is 79 episodes. 79 episodes are going to be um, over there. So our good pal Jerry, our very esteemed co-host, does his best work behind the scenes. And let's get into the season four finale. The hollow has been haunting New Orleans for centuries. It's an unending evil. Its appetite for power is insatiable. Insatiable. And that's what attracted it to your little girl. You said there was a way to save her. There is. But I'm going to tell you right now, you are not going to like my plan. Step one, we pull the hollow out of hope. Step two, we find some place else to put it. But with the book yeah. gone, I need a place that's both powerful and eternal. And in order to make the transition work, I'm going to need something that's connected to hope through blood. You need a vampire. An you original want to put the vampire. One of my siblings. One ain't gonna cut it. I'm gonna need four of them. What? Why four of us? Well, fifteen hundred years ago, when she the put everything in four different killed, places, they divided her remains: four bones, four volunteers, four different locations. That's how we're going to beat the Hollow now. Transfer the Hollow's power into four immortal vampires, and just send us on our way. So the evil is drawn, quartered, and separated for all time. Yeah. And you have to go your separate ways, and you have to stay separate for all time. That's why it'll be the end of always and forever. Can never go near each other again. That is the only way that we're going to beat the hollow. Well, if it'll save my little girl, then we will make it so. That is hacked. Hashtag bloop. Here's the thing that's going to make this way more interesting. Mortal Kombat. Bam, 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 bam. Um, here's what's going to make it way more interesting is um, Freya's not a vampire. So they're either going to have to turn Freya or get Cole. Bring Hello, Cole. Hey, bro, we need you to get the essence of the hollow. But it's okay. You can go back on your merry way. He's got to show up just for a second. Blah, blah, blah. Bring Davina if you want. We don't care. Four pieces, remember, it was a mandible, a finger bone, a pelvis, and like a, I want to say a femur. It was a tiny person. It could have been a humerus. I don't know. Um, put him in those four and send him away. Huh. My brain's trying to, trying to unravel a lot of things. That is, uh, that's nutty, actually. All right. All right. My ear itches. Look at them. Look at them peasants. Uh, gee, is that Dominic? Bro, that motherfucker died about 14 and a half times. Let him, just let him stay dead. Takes one thing to enter my brain. For what? We need that much black blood for. Vincent needs our blood. Thank you right. for answering. <laughs> All four of us, and Cole isn't answering his bloody phone. He's finally got a chance at happiness, and we're asking him to come home and play host to a quarter of a demon. There has to be another way. And what if there isn't another way? I can't believe this is happening. I'm usually the first one who wants to run off on my own, and, and now I don't have a say in the matter. I'm hope, feeling quite perturbed. Hope is all that matters. This is not happening. I will not let this family be split apart. Especially if you I'm just got him. I'm going to the Tower, and I'm going to go through more of Mother's grimoires. Freya. Hey, Freya, this will turn out. We're going to have to bite you, kill you, and bring you back. Elijah, you know how it feels to be apart. At first, the freedom is exhilarating. You got bite us. And then one day, inevitably, you wake up with that pit in your stomach, that dull, aching feeling of missing the only people who know you. Until that very ache threatens to consume you entirely. For a thousand years, we have yep. been honoring a vow to stand together. 
Being forced to separate feels like torture. Because it is torture. It's literally your family. I just texted all of you a photo. Now, Marcel literally said, Josh. scour the city. That means everyone is searching everywhere. Witches, check the cauldron. Vampires, search the quarter. Hell yeah. And guess who showed up? The bitch Hello, patrol. Joshua. No way. Goodbye, Joshua. Okay, Catherine. Ah! That just leaves Haley. She is Hope's only other immortal relative. Can't put Haley in it. That means you would have to part ways with her as well. Cole will come. Niklas will be with his child. The three of them must remain together. Oh, and you would just walk away from the woman that you love? Yes. And what about Nick? On his own, no family. You know very well that without you around, he will go mad. I'm fucking stressed. Like, I, I am, like... I'm on edge. Help! Hi, Haley. You're a little, you're a little too late. I know you can hear me. I need you to fight her. You think you can stop me? I'm not gonna let you take her. You ain't got no choice. I'm about to lift you up ten feet. Down goes Frasia. What ritual? She don't know nothing about it. The ritual that we need to talk about. Gotta have a little bit of a conversation. Gotta make your peace. Finally say goodbye to go Elijah. Whoever did this decides to come back. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Hey, that'd get pretty hard. Hey, Marcel, remember you played that coin game with Josh in the beginning? No, it's, uh... <laughs> Pretty straightforward, really. You need to pack some bags. You need to find a way out of town, quick and quiet, just for you and Hope. What are you talking about? Haley, the Hollow has felt your little girl's power. And it's going to want to get that power back. Never seen this shot before, the same half moon. Um, that's, that's a lot, Vince. That's a lot, man. You're taking... You're taking away the father, the estranged uncle... The other uncle that taught her some magic, kind of, not really. The powerful witch ant. Powerful vampire ant. We can't resurrect Finn and put this fucking thing in him so Klaus can go be with his daughter. If you love me, let me go. Keelan about to show up like, what's wrong? Are you alright, baby? We finally have a conversation, you and I. Please? And I'm appalled. I don't need you to apologize, Elisha. Not right now. Right now, I need you to get my daughter back. Of course. Man. Hey. I pledge allegiance to the hope of the United States of Louisiana. to kneel before me. We'll say less, little lady. Behold, Covens of New Orleans. Even the great Marcel Gerard is nothing in the face of the hollow. Good night, sweet prince. Yeah. And I'm out. Oh, and guess what? You're dead again. Hear ye, hear ye, all disciples and acolytes of the evil hollow. It's me, it's me, it's now Klaus that himself. Has been subdued, the power she promised you has been revoked, rendering you helpless and kind of fucking useless. Coup to a rather abrupt end. This dark object has the astounding ability to seal you in the room. And now that it's broken, congratulations, you ain't going nowhere. Baby. It's very inconvenient indeed. Oh, is that a Molotov Particularly cocktail? Particularly when one considers the architectural composition of the structure. And so with very little effort, <laughs> this place becomes an inferno. Teamwork makes a dream work, baby. Man, instead of having a super cool, fun scene where the originals team up and rip hearts out and headbutt mother lovers, 
Nah. We just gonna set them on fire. Shout out the uh, the brothers. Another shot here with the 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 the, the, the mar margarita uh, mariachi. Um, Mardi Gras beads right there on the thing. Nicholson's are selfish, egocentric fanatics. It is not my job, nor is it my inclination to try to convince you to do the right thing. If you really want to save your knees, then you need to get out of my ear and let me do what it is that I do. You know He's what? right. <laughs> I may not agree with this. You'd be shutting that shit down but so quick. Lucky you, I guess I'll just have to postpone the disembowelment. Rebecca. What? Have you heard from Cole? Not a word. Thank you for coming. Was something wrong? Vincent said that. Vincent something. said a lot of things. And he failed to say a few things more, one of which has me rather vexed. Oh, okay, I see. So you need another favor? No. 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 No more favors. Unless, of course, you come the burden of hearing my confession. I was never a good father to you. No surprises, I never had much in the way of an example. Wow, that immediately pulled a tear to my I right eyeball. Myself in the man who raised me. In fact, the first time I saw myself in another was the day I met you. Family. That I'm not good enough for Rebecca. That I'm not... You are family. And as for my sister, her love for you was a threat. How could either of you love each other and still have room for me? That's the most case. honest fuck. That's the most like honest, like out there thing I think he said to date. Your love to each other was a threat. If you two loved each other, where's the room to love me? Never had the perception that they could love each other and also love him at the same time. Again, at the end of the day with Klaus, it's it's all about uh, scared of being alone. I just wanted to see you one last time before we part ways for good, if only to set the record straight. I failed you, Marcellus. To my eternal shame. Never saw that shot before. The way that that whole scene started out with just um, just him saying thank you for coming in such a soft spoken voice, and Marcel just being like, "Yo, is everything all right?" Yada yada, and them having that camaraderie with you know ending the last season on the terms that they that they ended on. Um, I know there's been a truce, but just to hear that and kind of kind of makes you yearn to hear the two of them say those words to each other that I love you and that, and that father son relationship. Um, the closest we got to that was Marcel in the dungeon talking hope and saying, how can you hate somebody that you've loved for so long? And no hug, you know, just, uh, I think we saw them hug when they, when he first arrived in new Orleans and Marcel was like, ah, but isn't the great Klaus Michelson. And they kind of had, they joked animosity and then they brought it in with the hug, I think. But um, different style of hug. Not not a loving one, more of like the old pals meeting up again. Um, yeah. But you would lose everything. Your home, your family, your ability to practice magic. Yeah, will I lose you? <laughs> if I become the kind of monster that killed your family. I am not going anywhere. Not Julia going anywhere. Juliet all the way. <laughs> Julia and Juliet. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that to pieces. You gonna listen to him now? Desperately searching for some kind of humanity beneath the ridiculous banner of always and forever. Whatever we are, you and me, we were doomed. Doom from the start. I could never be where you needed me to be. Best thing I can do for you is disappear. I love you. I love you too. Shh. 
Well, if she goes drinking some blood, I'm I'm really happy they had that conversation doing from the start. As 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 a Michelson and, and you and how the family set up, we're just doomed when it comes to the whole love thing and <sighs> down the hatch. Okay. I come from a long line of vampires and besides, magic's kind of overrated. Easy for you to say. Oh. I was about to say, I, live without it. I was about to say, Cole about to fucking show up up in the scene, bro. I didn't think you were coming. Almost didn't. But given the number of messages and magic notes appearing in my pocket, <laughs> I figured it might be an emergency. <laughs> I love that they embrace with a hug, even though not knowing each other for that long. Well, they to show up. spent five you years in the house together. You always did love a dramatic entrance. If you come to my rescue, as you have done so many times before, it will only serve to aid our enemy, allowing it one step closer to my daughter, and I cannot allow that. So, my brother, when the time comes, I beg you, let me go. You have my word. Ah. You have my word. And if Elijah's a man of anything, he's a man of his word. Uh, Cole. Always and forever. We had a good run. Yeah. DVC. Divisi a conquire. Divisi a conquire. Divisi a conquire. Divisi a conquire. Shira a conquire. Oh, 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 Shot right into the four of you, huh? Go, run! I can hear it whispering. Okay, you guys need to go. Now! Gotta go. Cole's out. One last look at Haley. Say it. I would have been like, I love you. I'm out. Klaus. I need to know she's all right. Klaus, I promise you she's going to be okay if you go. It's okay, baby. You're okay. There you go. You got what you needed. Daddy? What's happening? Say I love you. Hope. I love you. Asking me to do, I don't understand. You know what he's asking me to do. This woman. What do you want me to do? You want me to put you down? I want you to set me free. Shh. Rebecca. Elijah, bro. Are you all right? Nah, I'm just watching these fucking flowers die everywhere. You mean though. How do you know that this will work? Well, with Vincent's power, he can open my mind, allowing you to compel me. Oh, okay, so he doesn't want to die, he wants to be compelled. To release me from always and forever. Okay, do it now. Your vow. The promise of always and forever. Forget it. 
all the pain that went with it. Yeah, Elsa, let it go. Always and forever. Look, Marcel, I don't want to play this game. I am finally free, and I don't want to waste a second. Waste what? Waste a what? A who? A second? Not on me. My man said a necklace, some earrings, and a big fat ass engagement ring. Hell yeah, Cole. I feel you, brother. Looks like she's fitting right in. <laughs> Laura! She's adaptable. Oh, the Salvatore yeah, house. Like she's always wanted. Oh. She has friends. friends her own age. <laughs> well, the kids here are pretty great. Got Elijah out here in France playing the piano, doing his musical gift. Not in a suit either. In his normal get up. That I've seen him in outside the show. T-shirt, got a little jacket on and shit. Hashtag bloop. Ugh. Seven years later, Jesus fuck. All right, that's how next season, that's how season five is going to start. Uh. So, uh. Yeah. Uh, hope. Oh, wait. Don't, don't read that. Don't read that. Don't read that. I didn't read it. All I read was hope. I promise. Season four. Holy shit. No, go back. Season four. Almost read the wrong thing again. <laughs> Feast of all sinners. Son of a bitch. Go back to that. Season four. To save hope from the hollow, the Michaelsons agree to Vincent's blood sacrifice, even though it requires they have separate lives for eternity. Um, uh, in a sense, it's almost anticlimactic how the hollow is so easily defeated as uh, she gets her, her group of people and they're all together about to do whatever it is that they were going to set out to do in the first place. But uh, it told a good story, it got rid of that quickly, and then it was focused on the family splitting up for good. Um, I'm kind of upset we didn't get a conversation with Haley talking to Hope about what's going on and why her family just had to leave was to save her. I think it is cool everybody kind of comes together. I think it is anticlimactic that we don't get to see Sophia. Maybe, I mean, there's a whole other season. 
But if Sophia is gone, that we didn't see Sophia's death or her reason for departure, it would have been cool to see her ask Marcel to leave and then him say no, even if it was just in a snippet scene. Um, maybe even leading up to showing Rebecca in New York, like if it just said that and then it transitioned to New York. But um, yeah, Freya in New York. Um, Cole's in San Francisco, California. And uh, Freya and Keelan are going to remain in Louisiana. Marcel, the king of New Orleans, leaves and and goes to, to be with Rebecca in New York. I don't know what that means for New Orleans um, and how, that, how that's going to actually play out with uh, I don't know if the coven's going to take over or what the deal is there. Then again, I, I don't really care because it was finally Marcel conquering his love for um, for New Orleans for for Rebecca, and then we get we get uh, Elijah in France. Maybe Vincent will stay, obviously in New Orleans, um, and we have Elijah in France and a mysterious tipper drops him a hundred dollar bill, and it's his it's his brother Klaus and. Elijah looks at him and there's nothing. It's been compelled away by Marcel and that, that compulsion to forget always and forever, to forget his pain, to forget his family, to at, Mar at Elijah's request to forget this, to relinquish him of the burden, to set him free of always trying to be there for his family. And th this again is for Haley. It is for hope. It is for Klaus. It is for the benefit of everybody. But just seeing Klaus look at him and, knowing that there's nothing there and knowing that he sees nothing. And then um, Klaus giving them the nod and he, he, he accepts it. He smiles because he realizes, I think he understands what happened. I think, I think he understands in that moment. It's not Elijah trying to play a part, trying to play a role that he's trying to ignore Klaus, but it's just he knows his brother's been set free. Now Klaus can go wherever he's going to go. Like he told Elijah, if I go down this downward spiral and black back into bloodshed, you can't come for me. And now, I mean, he literally can't if Klaus chooses to go down that route. And you have Rebecca happy with Freya. Or, I'm sorry. You have Rebecca happy with Marcel. You have Freya happy with Keelan. Freya is going to keep searching for different things or try to reverse this, try to undo it. Almost becoming a vampire. Uh, we didn't get to see Vincent and Maxine together. That would have been really nice to see in closing for the season, just to see him him happy. Uh, we see everybody happy, really, but Klaus, even though there was a smile. Uh, the big thing I haven't mentioned yet is Haley is with Hope at in Mystic Falls in in the Salvatore house, which is when I saw it. Just ah, um, <laughs> you know, at this point, Stefan's long gone. Um, Damon and and fucking obviously that would have been man think about how cool that would have been to see damon maybe not elena but just to see damon in like an appearance maybe at the school visiting rick in a moment and then Haley walking up with hope to introduce and have that conversation and then hate then hope running off to yeah think about that scene let's paint that scene together you, you just you pan in with that music playing and it's damon and a lark having a conversation best friends bygones be bygones and then Haley walks up with hope and then you kind of have another transition maybe behind the Salvatore the sign and then you have you know uh, hope running off and hanging out with friends and then you have the scene that they gave us but something like that with that type of cameo would have been just fucking heartwarming um everybody's happy this is a really good ending and this would have been a perfect um oh my god i'm trying not to like sob because i gotta i gotta wrap up this intro um this would have been a really good ending to the entire show actually if it was longer and this is the way they chose to go out but we have an entire fifth season and um yeah we'll, we'll see how it plays out I feel like there's just a fifth season to help like move forward to probably set up legacies. Um, 
Oh, man. Okay. Well, guys, thank you for hanging out for uh, four seasons so far. Thanks for hanging out of all of season four. This is also a farewell to the young girl that played Hope, because if we're going seven years in the future, that's farewell to her. She did a phenomenal job, and I hope that she does well in her future of acting. And she's a beautiful little girl, and she's very witty, and did her role perfectly. And we're going to get into season five, which is called Where You Left Your Heart. Is going to be what episode one is entitled. So again, all 79 episodes are on the Patreon if that does interest you. If not, that's okay. Every episode is here on YouTube. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Tomorrow will be the recap, and the day after will be uh, the beginning of season five. So uh, links and everything will be in the description box down below. A uh, playlist will be up on the screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.